Okay, so hey guys. Um, so something prompted me to make this video. Um, I was listening to some Silent Hill soundtrack and I was thinking about my stepdad and how I felt like, you know, back in the past, like eight years ago or six years ago, I felt like, um, when I lived with my stepdad and my mom and my stepbrother, I felt like I was living in like a serial killer horror movie. Um, But I'm going to tell you guys the weird stuff. Um, so, there's, there's a bunch of weird stuff. It's not weird in a normal weird way. It's a weird in a weird way. Um, so, here's what happened. Um, so, my mom. Now, I have no problem with you, Jeff. If you ever watch this video, don't cry so because I have no problem with my stepdad now this is in the past okay we work past the past and we're in the present now but you know years and years ago I barely I would never even really talk to my stepdad at all and uh, well I think that's part of why my paranoia was really bad and why I was perceiving these things in this demonic, crazy way. But <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys the story. So sorry, Jeff, if you ever watch this. Sorry, Bradley, because Bradley's my stepbrother. Bradley, don't watch this. Okay, I mean, you can watch this, but like maybe it'll help you understand something. I don't know. But I don't want Jeff to watch this. I don't want to hurt his feelings. I love you, Jeff. I love you, Bradley. Don't watch this. Like, I mean, Bradley can watch. I'm going to try to be, you know, I mean, this is about the past. This is how I felt in the past. This is not how I feel now. I, I love you guys now, but this is how I felt in the past. <laughs> if I'm being 100% honest. Uh, that, that's why I don't want Jeff to watch this. And Bradley, if you ever watch this, don't tell Jeff. Come on, man. Don't tell Jeff. That's your dad. It's going to hurt his feelings. But anyway, so here's what happened. Well, at first it started with a dream. So before my mom met my stepdad, years and years before, I remember having this dream, okay? It was this dream and there was a bunch of Indian decorations all around. Not, not Indian from India, like Native American Indian decorations all over this house. And I was like looking at all the decorations. I don't even remember what the dream was about, but I that was a specific thing that I remember. And that was years and years before I ever met Jeff, blah, blah, blah. So that's how I'm gonna start the story because that's the first significant thing. Cause I feel like a lot of the times dreams can like, you can perceive future events through dreams somehow. I mean, that's happened to my mom. That's happened to me before. Um, I don't know, but it was significant because Jeff, when I met him, my mom told me he liked to collect um, Native American stuff. And he had a bunch of Native American shit in his house. And he would always collect them. That's why that dream was significant to me. I mean, it makes sense. But uh, I don't know why I had that dream. I, but anyway. Um... I, I was also going to tell you other dreams I had, but that is going on a tangent. That's not about my stepdad. So anyway, um, oh, sorry. I just, I remember, like, I was going crazy there because, like, I wouldn't talk to my stepdad, and I wasn't as close to my mom because she was always near my stepdad because they were living together at one point, and then I was like, oh, my God. Like, I wasn't as close to my mom, and then my stepdad was always there, and it just bothered me. So I always stayed in my room all day listening to music. And that was when I was really depressed. I think, you know, the lack of socializing, you know, plus the constant music, plus, you know, smoking weed all day. So Jeff was really nice. He'd give me free weed. And I know you're thinking to yourself, why the fuck would you be afraid of someone giving you free weed? No, but... You know, I mean, I liked it. I was, I was happy. You know, I appreciated him giving me free weed. But at the same time, you know, I was still, you know, kind of a scared, <laughs> scared of Jeff. Because here's the thing. 
So I had a boyfriend. His name was Ronell. Um, me and Ronell would sleep together. We would have sex. And I remember one day me and Ronell had the door open. Okay. We weren't having sex. We were just, you know, we had the door open or something. And then Jeff, he came to my door and he looked like this. And I was like, thousand yard stare. What the actual fuck? <laughs> but <laughs> my mom didn't tell me till a while after that, but he's a, a drug addict. Like he's like a pill popping, pill popping guy. <laughs> But uh, I didn't know that because I was a pain pill. So he would take them to chillax. But um, so he came to my room like that. And then he just like went like this. Like it just at my doorway. That would scare the shit out of anybody. Okay. <laughs> but what really scared me was the fact that it was right next to my doorway and he was obviously half asleep, so what if he's sleepwalking while me and Ronell are having sex and he's stopping in front of my doorway because that's a habit of his to listen to me and Ronell have sex. That's why I was scared because I know uh, him and my mom don't have sex. I know that. And it's because my mom has this problem with her vagina. It's dry because she's old, that kind of stuff. But that's why I was scared. You know, I was like, oh my god. And he would like, just give me the creeps, bro. I'm sorry, Jeff, but you give me the fucking creeps. I, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know, because I never talked to him at that point in time. You know, I didn't even really say hi. I just acknowledged he was there and it was just scaring me. But, um, I remember, like, that that's scary, right? I'm not just, I'm not, oh, oh but that's not the only thing. <laughs> I didn't even get to the scary part, bitch. Okay, so. <gasps> Jeff has this thing with guns. <laughs> he's a white hick. If I'm being honest, he's a country hick. And I'm black. And he would always make jokes about the N-word. He's got guns, but that's not all. That's not all, bitch. That's not all. So here's what happened. He, when I would come home from doing whatever I was doing, I don't even remember, by walking my dog or something, he would come to the door with his gun. <laughs> And growl like this. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I wish I was joking. I wish. I wish I was joking. Who's there? With a gun. Yeah. I want to cry right now. I want to cry. But... Do you understand that that's, that's the life I was living? I thought he was going to kill me. I thought he was going to kill me. And the fucking... I remember one time. I was high on weed. I was alone in my room. And he did the thing where he went to the doorway in a daze. And he just stood there like this towards the wall and I was like and I would always have nightmares I would have the worst nightmares about Jeff oh my god I can't even tell you how scary those nightmares were I remember one time, I swear to God, I thought he was going to rape me. 
I don't know what it was. It's because my mom didn't have sex with him. And he, I don't know, he just would say things here and there like, like I was sexy or something. I don't know. It was weird. I mean, whatever. But, you know, it's just getting a little weird. It's, it's a little creepy. And I remember one time I was cleaning the cupboards and he was just looking at me. And he said something and he was like whispering. There's no reason to be whispering. You know? I'm scared. Like I'm really scared right now. Um, I don't know why you're whispering and I'm uncomfortable. You know, just stop. I'm scared. Oh my God. Oh my God. I was literally so scared. <laughs> I can't, you guys don't understand how scary that is. You don't understand how scared I was. And those nightmares, they didn't help. <laughs> those were the scariest dreams I've ever had. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, I, they just made me so uncomfortable. I would have dreams where he would like come in my room and like just like I don't know just creep me out I don't know I don't know oh I don't know I had this one dream where he came in my room and asked me to have sex with him and then I went to my mom and I was like, Mom, I'm scared. And then he told her that I asked him to have sex with me. That's what, I was like, what the fuck? That was one of the weirdest dreams. But the one that was the scariest was when I was living up in the attic. I was living up in the attic and I was still scared of Jeff for some reason. This was like two years ago. I was still scared of Jeff. And I was like living in the attic, and I would always be paranoid that he would come in my room at night for no reason. I don't know why I would think that, but it might be because in the past he would do that thing in front of my door. I don't know. I mean, is that valid? Can anybody validate my feelings? <laughs> like, I don't know if I'm crazy. I don't know. No, but that's not even it. I'm, 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 I'm that's not all. <laughs> okay, but I remember one time I said, I called him a rapist because I hated him. I just, I just thought he was so creepy and I called him a rapist. And then I remember him crying and I was watching him and he was looking in the mirror. Crying in the mirror. No, 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 wait. No, I didn't call him a rapist. Here's what happened. I, th no, no, no. I thought he was going to rape me. Sorry, I, I called him a rapist, but it was later. I thought he was going to rape me. I didn't call him a rapist yet. That was, that was, it was after this event, because of this event, I called him a rapist after. But here's what happened. So I was, I had this really paranoid feeling that he was going to rape me. Okay. And I lived downstairs and so did my mom and Jeff. They lived downstairs in a room, three rooms away next to the kitchen. And I lived three rooms away in my bedroom. And... I always had this feeling, like this weird feeling, but it was getting really, really, really weird. And I was like, oh my God, I, I just, I don't know why, but I feel terrified that he's gonna rape me. So what I did was, I was like, mom, you need to move upstairs. I need to move upstairs. Like I, some tell me I need to move upstairs because I'm scared and I'm scared he's gonna like rape me. And I told her, I was like, and then she's like, yeah, he's not gonna rape you. I was like, well, I'm getting a weird feeling and I just want to go upstairs. So I moved upstairs where Bradley was at. Uh, I'm not in his room, but next to his room in my mom's like giant closet. I moved in there. It's not a closet really. It's a, two rooms she made into a closet, but it, it was two giant rooms that she made a closet. So it's practically, you know, two giant rooms. But uh, I, re I moved up there and then uh, I would have nightmares up there still. But... I remember after I moved up there, 
that same night, while I was moving up there, I saw, I saw him looking in the mirror, crying. He was looking in the mirror at himself, crying as I moved upstairs. And I was just saying to myself, why the fuck would you be doing that? If you didn't actually want to rape me. I don't know. Like, I don't know. That's, I mean, wouldn't that scare you? <laughs> am I just, am I just scared? Or is there a reason? Because I don't know. Interconnectivity is real. But that, I felt like I was in a horror movie. Seeing that shit, as I feel like he's going to rabia, I'm going to go upstairs. Okay, I moved upstairs. And then I come downstairs and see that he's crying in the mirror as I'm moving my stuff upstairs. Why? Why are you crying, looking at yourself in the mirror? As I have a fear of you raping me? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I just thought it was creepy. Thought it was weird. But I mean, he never did anything like really weird or anything. That was, that was weird. I mean, that was, that was weird. And he would come to the gun the door with the gun with this growling creepiness. <laughs> but there's stuff to the story that I didn't know that my mom told me later. But um, so there's that 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 was real. That happened to me, and I, that scared the shit out of me. And one day, um, I don't know if y'all believe in weird shit, but this is something weird that happened to me. I was dancing in front of a mirror, and then. I had my headphones on, I'm pretty sure, or something, and then I saw this, like, face of Jeff smiling, but it wasn't him. Like, it was like this, you know how you see static in the dark? It was made out of, like, the static in the dark, it, it, but it was a prominent face smiling at me, and I was like, what the heck? And then he walks through the door right after I see that little premonition face. I don't know what, it was like a, a face made out of this weird static that was made out of the dark. I don't know. I know, y'all probably don't believe that part. Even I don't even believe it half the time. But that really happened. That was a really, that was a thing. The premonition, like, I don't know. I believe in premonitions because I've had weird shit happen. That's one of the weird things I'm talking about. Because how am I going to see his face in the static? And then he comes through the door right after. Like, that's a premonition. Like, that's your spirit or something. Your spirit came and talked to me and told me you're coming through the door while I was dancing in the mirror. And then you come in the door. Like, I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. But, I don't know, like, and then there was, like, when he gave me free weed, you know, I was really appreciative, and then, uh, there was a point in time where I started, like, I was smoking weed every day, and I was, like, taking his free weed, and then after a while, I started getting paranoid that he wanted to kill me, so I, 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 I uh, convinced myself that he put rat poison in my weed and that's why he was giving it to me for free and then after I started getting that paranoid his weed started making me hallucinate and it made me hallucinate till the point where I was seeing patterns and shit like full-on fucking patterns like geometrical patterns and I remember there's this one that was brown and green okay just brown and green. That's all that was. Was brown and green. 
Why? I don't fucking know. I'm scared I'm going to see a face in the static right now. I don't know. I'm having weird flashbacks. But anyway. Um, but I was seeing like brown and green geometrical patterns. And, and I was like, oh my god. I think you put rat poison in my shit. Because like, I was like convincing myself that for weeks before that actually happened. And that's why I was like, oh my god, you, you put rat poison in there. And, like, I think I was just... I don't know. I think... The state of mind really affects your your perspective and your point of view. But, you know, I think that's part of why that happened, you know. But, and I think that's also part of why, you know, these things were happening, like the nightmares and all that. But, um, uh, yeah. What else? Um, oh yeah, after a while... Uh, I, I would I would still smoke his weed and it would make me paranoid, but um, I mean it was free so I'll smoke it. But anyway, so I would listen to Spongle, okay, and after a while the music started to like talk to me, on a spiritual level, and I would hear messages, in, in the songs, like a message from God or something. Um, sorry, I'm looking at the dark of my curtain. I'm scared. But anyway, I'm sorry. A message from God in, in the music, I thought it was, because I was smoking weed. I was probably just, I don't know. I, I just try not to think about it at this point, but I'm telling you the story just because, because it was a part of my life. And y'all want to know about me. That's why you subscribed, I guess. But, um... What was I saying? I'm sorry, I forgot. Hold on. My brain, it does this all the time. Oh, yeah. I started, um, hearing messages in the thingy. And one of the messages in the Spongle song says... Something like, he's a rapist. And I was like, what are you talking about? Shit! Like, I don't want to hear that. No, but... I don't know. I don't know. But that's some of the weird stuff that happened. Um, let me know in the comments. Do you think Jeff is a creepy stepdad? Yes or no? Um, you know, I mean, it's come a long way, and so have I, and I've learned to talk to him, and I feel much better now. I feel like a lot of the paranoia was because of the silence. Oh, yeah, but here's the thing. Later, my mom tells me that he's popped pills, blah, 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 and I was like, Mom, why would you be with someone like that because you're so clean cut, whatever, like that's so out of character for you, and she's like, well, he's so sweet, blah, 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 and I'm like, okay, and then later... Years and years later, she tells me something like, well, um, his ex-wife would try to kill Jeff. Uh, like, his ex-wife was a drug addict, and she would, like, try to kill Jeff with a knife or something. So he would have to, like, hide in his room and stuff like that. And I didn't know that. Uh, so I feel like that kind of makes sense because he didn't know me and he was living with me so if he did want to kill me like it might have been the paranoia of us wanting to kill each other secretly <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense but uh like you know you get a feeling you know what I mean I don't know empathy telepathy empathy is the same thing practically but uh but yeah I don't know I don't know, guys, but I don't have a problem with Jeff anymore. Um, even after all that, I just, I don't know. I just, I got over it. Oh, and there was this one, one time I remember. Uh, I thought he was going to rape me again. This was after, I, he never raped me. I just thought he was going to rape me. Like, I was having this paranoia again, is what I mean. He never touch touch me or anything like that he never did anything weird like that but 
I had the paranoia again is what I mean. Um, but uh, I remember going to bed and waking up. And then the next day, my mom got this horrific screaming horse statue. And the horse had his, his butt up in the air. And I was like, why the fuck would you get that? Right after, I think he's going to rape me, bro. It was literally the day after. She got this horrific looking screaming horse with his head up in this, like he's in pain and his ass was up in the air and I was just looking at it like this are you fucking kidding me right now that's scaring me like that's scaring me I thought it was a sign I was scared that scared me like that scared the shit out of me I don't know. I don't know if that makes any sense. Let me know in the comments if you've ever had a creepy stepdad like that. <laughs> but he never touched me. You know, I'm not telling you guys he's a rapist. I'm saying at that time, because I didn't talk to him, I didn't know him. I didn't want to talk to him. I was just paranoid and I was smoking weed. I probably had mental issues and I was, uh, I wasn't working. I was isolated in my house. Like there's a lot of different things that probably didn't help with that. But, um, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you think me being scared was valid. <laughs> I don't know. Because I was 17, 18 years old, you know, I was a little scared. <laughs> um, and also, he would drive like really crazy. When he would drive me to school, I dreaded it because he would he would try to scare me. I swear to God, he would like go. Rrr! I was like, oh my God, bitch, oh my God. I'm not joking. There's something wrong there. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> let me know in the comments what do you think about that because i know what i thought but thank you guys for watching that's practically all the weird stuff that's happened um see you guys in the next video bye